Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes, Devon Branch, and on this uh, very muggy July 2023 day, we are super excited to be doing a walk around video on our very first uh, freshly delivered MAN based Wild Axe Altair RS. So, Wild Axe are one of Britain's biggest uh, van converters, uh, part of the French Rapido group, but very much a British company, family run. Uh, by Duncan and his uh, wild man family. Um, they're based in Elland up in Yorkshire and they do high quality innovative uh, British van conversions for the UK market but with European levels I think of build quality and of features. Now the Altair, Altair even is a new model for 2023. Kind of replaces the uh, very popular but short-lived Alara due to the rubbish availability of Mercedes-Benz so um, Wild X developed this all new model on the MAN 6.8 meter now for those who don't know MAN they're basically Volkswagen so uh, this is a Volkswagen crafter with an MAN badge uh, MAN being the truck manufacturer of the Volkswagen Audi group in Germany so you're getting a extremely high quality German built base vehicle with a very high quality, very innovative uh, and, and almost unique British interior so, with a European layout really. Um, so this particular one is looking stunning in Indium grey metallic, uh, it's an automatic, you can have a manual but nobody wants a manual so it's the 2 litre turbo diesel automatic, 140 horsepower I think, don't hold me to that, <laughs> with uh, the 7 speed DSG gearbox so we've got front parking sensors rear parking sensors smart silver alloys it's a great looking van it really really is uh, now it's gross vehicle weight is three and a half ton now this is a big van conversion do not expect a big payload at three and a half ton you want to have it up plated once it's registered it can be registered at a higher weight for you to give you a bigger payload however if you don't have a C1 driving license if you're over 70 pass your test uh, after 1997 and you won't have then you can have this van as it is at three and a half ton so it's based on the man tge base vehicle it's the long wheel base 6.8 meters it's 140 horsepower seven speed dsg automatic 6.84 long 2.25 wide that's roughly the same as a fiat 2.75 tall and prices a starting price for an automatic one like this of 94 and a 95 there's not a lot you have to add to that this one's got the awning which is oh 1600 quid maybe so um call it a couple it's 97 between 96 and a half and 97,000 for one of these i think these are going to be a winner the alara was a winner it was hamstrung by poor mercedes availability hopefully the man availability will be a little bit better and we do have backup ones of these in the pipeline if you wanted one but this particular one is staying on display with us for at least the near future at highbridge motorhomes devon so walking around the outside we've got some great looking headlights with daytime running lights indicators built in to your electric fold electric fold no electric heated electric adjust uh, manual fold wing mirrors we got the optional full length two lay omni store awning with its specialist brackets now the man is quite a curved van and you will sort of see that it's a good looking van um, but that has its sort of slight negatives in terms of awning fitment it needs this special bracket which actually looks pretty good in fairness we've got fresh water fill up point there under slung fresh and waste water tanks main hook up now the big and really interesting thing about this apart from the fact that it is based on the man and it's a big posh van conversion from a big manufacturer and there's nothing else quite like it apart from from the smaller manufacturers out there is um is uh, it's gas free that is right so this van has been built straight from the off to be a gas free van so wild axe for some years now have offered uniquely from a big manufacturer a volt pack option uh, and that removes the normally found three-way fridge freezer uh, gas cooker um, gas oven gas powered heat and hot water and replaces it with a combination of diesel and electric and a tremendously high spec electrical system so wild x are really leading the way in the future with this and this is their first model which is only offered as a gas-free vehicle so you would normally spend many many thousands of pounds adding the stuff that this has as standard so to make it gas-free um it's got a 12 volt fridge freezer 
very common, you'll see that with a lot of things. But it has two very large, I think two, two 200 watt or two 150 watt solar panels on the roof. It has a full lithium ion battery setup. Lithium ion batteries have a, a massively longer life term and performance um, ratio over AGM or lead acid batteries. It's got a full tailored electrical charging system and split charger uh, to cater for those lithium batteries and a massive inverter um, which powers um, your microwave for cooking and your main sockets when you're not on the mains and also your induction hob therefore making your van gas free and future proofing it no more scrabbling about trying to find a Calagas agent who's got a bottle which no one has at the minute or trying to find a petrol station that does LPG which to be fair there's still a lot of them that do one day there won't be so walking around the outside flush fit tinted double glazed windows really really smart now they launched the Altair as the RL, the rear lounge one. I wasn't a fan, to be honest. Um, the van, the Altair, always needed to be is this. So you've got at the back two massive single beds with a um, big infill to make it into a huge full-size double bed. Um, now you can use it as singles, you can use it as a double, if you're using it as a double you've got this clever clip-on fold-out pair of steps, not a ladder, a pair of proper steps uh, to make access easier uh, and it's a stunning thing. And that gives you loads of space underneath. Now you've got here your really nicely fitted electrical systems, you've got those two incredibly expensive lithium batteries, two solar panel charge controllers, all of this is from uh, the experts at Road Pro. I'm not an expert on this sort of thing, in fairness to it. I know it's very good, but there are people out there who know more about it than me. But really, it's probably the future. I get a lot of customers spending fortunes upgrading their vans, but it's lovely to get this as standard on a model, not as an extra, as standard, which is really, really cool. Also in the bedroom, we've got a bedroom TV, you've got lovely curved cabinet work, really, really smart lighting, and a nicely integrated awning winder handle, and loads and loads of storage. This one's got the optional uh, Kronberg wood. This has been discontinued but replaced with something very, very similar. I think it suits the van really well, but so do all of the other woods. Uh, we've got uh, reversing sensors at the back. I can't see a camera, but um, must be one, uh, but I can't see one. But work on the fact that there, there almost definitely is one because it's standard on all the others. Loads of suspension travel, nice big thick balloon tyres. TV aerial on the roof along with your solar panels. Flip cassette, no, Dometic cassette toilet locker dump point. Uh, your Truma Combi D, because there's no gas in this van, so your Truma heating and hot water, uh, instead of using gas when you're not hooked up to the mains, uses the diesel from your fuel tank, which is more economical and readily available. So, opening up, we've got Remis Concertina cab lines all around the front. We've got a smart semi-digital display. We've got a big screen unit. Now that doesn't have nav built into it. Oh yeah, it does actually. It's got nav. So that's like um, VW would call it the Discover Media, I guess. It's got nav. We've got aircon. We've got cruise control. It's all the same as a VW Transport, a VW Crafter here. So it's very, very understated. Very, very classy. Um, I think everybody would go for this beautiful leather with Bentley diamond stitch. It's not standard, it is a cost option. Actually this would be, I think a couple of grand, I'd have to check, maybe 1500. Um, so you don't have to have it, you can have cloth or the standard upholstery which is like a half half suede Alcantara leather as they call it and cloth. Um, but I think most people would go for this, it suits the van really really well but you don't have to have it. So yeah, very, very smart, lucky windows, lucky mirrors, all the stuff you'd expect, heated mirrors, auto headlights, yeah, great thing. So you can have a manual if you want, but I don't think we'll sell any in manual form in furnace to it, and it'll be a special chassis order if you do want the manual. So, jumping inside, there isn't an electric step because of the um, fitting availability sort of thing. Um, but you do have a very, very big flip-up extra bit of worktop. Now 6.8 metres is a big van conversion, but that's a big bed, and that means um, it is a two berth this, it's a luxury two berth, it's not really the payload for three anyway, but they've not compromised by trying to squeeze a dinette into it. So that means you've got a real nice bit of floor space here, so you've got twin-swirly cab seats, lovely curved cabinet work, 
very very light lots of use of nice lighting uh, there's a table which drops into a bracket on there you got a fly off handbrake that's always in the down position enabling you to uh, swivel your seat over the top of it and it's a really nice place to be i think it'd be nicer without that infill cushion there i think that would just open it up a bit as well in fairness to it so it's quite a narrow van you can see the level of angle there so it's it's a lot narrower at the top than it is at the bottom and you can feel that in here but it just makes the van feel very elongated which is no bad thing so a nice simple control panel up there with all your gauges your kitchen you've got induction hob that'll run off your uh, leisure batteries via the inverter Equal sink, big enough. A couple of uh, main sockets there, which again will run off your inverter when you're not on the mains. That's all of your um, lithium battery monitoring panel tells you all of your stuff, 99% full. Your microwave up there that will run off your batteries as well as off the, uh, off the mains. And your fridge freezer, a good size 12 volt fridge freezer. I want to actually look underneath it here. This one's got the optional TV pack up there, so I suppose if you add the leather in the TV pack, that will take you to... Oh no, I don't know how to do this one-handed, I should have done this first. Does that slide? Ah, oh, that will just... Ah, oh, I wish I'd done this first. There we go. Oh look, you can just lift it up. Loads and loads and loads of storage drawers underneath there, I love that. Access to the garage via a door, great if you've got a dog. Yeah, massive storage. That's really cool. Put that back in there. This will be a really comfortable and particularly big bed as well. Nice curved high-level cabinets. Plenty of storage. Plenty of plug sockets. Yes, wild axe. Yes, USBs there. USBs there. Just a little thing. Tiny little thing. But manufacturers never do that. And I think everybody's got a phone to charge these days, don't they? So why do manufacturers only fit them on one side? But Wild X don't, because they listen to the customers, thank God. Bathroom, nice little bathroom. Freestanding basin. Shower bit that pulls out clips on there. Nice big mirror, curved cabinet there. And then lots, and because you've taken the oven out of it, you've got loads and loads of storage in the kitchen as well. She's very smart. And double wardrobes, hers and hers wardrobes as I call them. Oh, there we go, she's got another little. Oh, okay, so you've got little, little steps for going on there, and then the steps in the back must be for putting outside. I see, I get it now. And then there's your table underneath it there. Very cool, this is the first time I've been in this van in fairness too, so these videos are sometimes a little voyage of discovery for me and for you. Uh, I really like it. Um, it's a great looking van, be a great driving van. It's a niche van, like the Alara was, but with the Alara we could sell, that's the Mercedes one that preceded this, we could sell as many of them as we could get. And I think it'll be like this for this as well. And there's a big demand for these Volkswagen Audi Group vans instead of the Fiat. Personally, I love the Fiat, uh, in fairness to it, but Fiat don't do a 68 meter chassis, so you can't do this on a Fiat. Uh, if you did, it'd be really square, I would like that, but you can't get that with this. Uh, and obviously when you're going down the lanes and your trees are sticking out, the fact that you're much narrower towards the top will help as well. Um, it's a lovely, lovely van. Um, it's probably to this spec, what do we reckon, 97 and a half or so. It's a lot of money, but you look at an Adria Twin, for instance, which is a marvellous 6.3 metre fixed bed Fiat base van conversion. You add some spec onto that, you can quite quickly push the 90 grand mark. Uh, and then you start adding lithium, you'd be right up there with this, in fairness to it. And that's for a 6.3 metre Fiat base van. So look at it that way, and you can make a case for it. Anyway, come and see it, judge it for yourself. I think it's cool. And this is us, Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch. Call us uh, on 01626832792, hit the option for motorhome sales. If no one answers, leave us a message because we might be out here with customers. Or call the mobile number direct on 07432662558. That would get you straight through to myself or one of my sales team. Check us out on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website or come and see us and this van at Highbridge Caravans, uh, Team Grace, Newton Abbott, Devon. That's just off the A38 South Devon Expressway, midway between Exeter and Plymouth. Very easy and direct to get to from anywhere by road, rail, sea, plane or train and ask us about this lovely Wild Axe Altair RS. Thank you very much. Bye.